A gear or pinion is a toothed mechanical component that meshes with another for changing speed or direction or to transmit motion. The term gear is specifically attributed to the member of a pair of tooth parts that has the greater number of teeth, while pinion refers to the member in the pair with the fewer number of teeth. Spur gears, which are part of the parallel axis gear family, are the simplest and most common type of gearing. Spur gear teeth are cut into the outside diameter of a cylindrical gear blank and aligned parallel to the gear axis of rotation. Single helical gears are the second most common gear type. The teeth are cut on a helical or spiral path that is inclined with respect to the axis of rotation of the gear. Both spur and helical gears are used in a variety of everyday and complex equipment applications. While spur gears are relatively easy to manufacture at a lower cost, they have low contact ratio, which limits the loads that can be transmitted often just through one tooth. Typically, helical gears are preferred over spur gears for highly loaded applications and when smooth, quiet running is essential. Helical gears can carry more load since the load is shared by multiple teeth, but impart an axial thrust load on bearings, leading to power losses that need to be compensated by using thrust absorbing bearings. Spur and helical gears are commonly used in everyday machines such as electric screwdrivers, washing machines, and conveyors. They are also used in complex equipment such as machine tools, turbine drives, indexing equipment, marine hoists and winches. The other types of helical gearing include crossed helical, which are identical to helical gears in every respect, except for their mounting relationship. Double helical gears, unlike single helical gears, have both right and left hand helical teeth. Double helical gears have a space called the center groove, or gap, between the two helices to provide clearance for manufacturing tools. The other type of helical gear is a herringbone gear that has teeth similar to a double helical gear but without the space between the helices, so the teeth meet in the middle at the apex. The next type, internal gears, have teeth cut into the internal surface of a ring. Internal gear teeth can be manufactured with either spur or single helical teeth. The last type of spur and helical gearing are racks that are spur or helical gears laid out on a straight line. Racks are used to change rotational motion of the gear or pinion to translational or linear motion. There is, however, no rotation of the rack. It simply moves in a straight line at right angles to the axis of rotation of the drive gear or pinion.